Hi, and welcome back to PMBOK 5. In this module, I'll be showing you around the project management framework, which entails the terminology, the organizational structures, and an overview of the project management knowledge areas and processes so that you have a good frame of reference and common vocabulary before discussing the knowledge areas in detail. So, let's start simply with defining a project. A project has three characteristics. One, it's unique, meaning that you create different products, services, or results. For example, manufacturing cars in an assembly line is not a project, but constructing a shopping mall is a project. Two, a project is temporary. We say that a project completes once the objectives are achieved. So, a project has a definite beginning and end. And third, a project is progressively elaborated, which means we describe the project scope very broadly early in the project, and then we make the scope more explicit as the project progresses. This definition you'll hear most often for this term, progressive elaboration, which means developing in steps and continuing in increments. Essentially, it means developing something in incremental steps. The project plan will be broadly defined to start and will get more accurate, detailed, and explicit in an incremental fashion as you begin to understand more about the project deliverables and objectives. The result is a more accurate and complete plan. So again, a project is unique, temporary, and progressively elaborated. And finally, how do we define project management? Well, project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. I want to briefly discuss three important terms and how they relate to each other. A project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. You'll want to remember that a project is unique, temporary, and progressively elaborated. A program is a group of related projects and other work that is managed in a coordinated way to obtain benefits and control that is not normally available when managing them individually. And a portfolio, as you can see here at the top, is a collection of projects or programs and other work to meet strategic business objectives. Projects or programs of a portfolio may not necessarily be directly related. Another term that's going to be integral to understanding this whole course is project stakeholder. Who and what are project stakeholders? Well, they are any persons or organizations, A, who are actively involved in the project, or B, whose interests may be positively or negatively impacted by the project. Note that I said negatively impacted. This is important because unfortunately, some stakeholders can be negatively impacted, such as the case of a project to construct a new dam in a city, and some homes may need to be relocated. Consider a project taken on by a large company to cut costs by closing one of their manufacturing facilities, resulting in layoffs. This negatively affects the workers and the local economy. Let me give you a few examples of who might be an important stakeholder of a project. A project manager manages the project. Let's say that the project here is undertaken by a pharmaceutical company to launch a new drug in the market. The project manager will manage the entire project of launching the new drug. A functional manager is a person in a management role within a functional area, like finance, human resources, or accounting. So this could be the manager in charge of finance or human resources for the drug project. The operations manager is a person in a management role in the core business areas of production and maintenance of saleable products or services of the company. For example, the manager of manufacturing or maintenance. The customer acquires the project's product. So in our drug example, the customer could be the hospital, doctors, or a research division of the company. The user directly uses the product. So in this case, the patients. In some projects, the customers and the users are synonymous. But in the case of the pharmaceutical company, the user is the patients. The performing organization actually does the work of the project. This would be, in our example, the project team launching the drug. The sponsor provides funding for the project and serves as an escalation point for important issues. This might be the VP of projects, someone at the top of the pharmaceutical company. 
From the PMBOK point of view, the sponsor always provides the funding. And the team members also are stakeholders. This includes all the members of the project team. Please note that at times, the same person or organization may play multiple stakeholder roles, such as when an engineering firm provides financing for a plant that it is designing. The most important thing for you to remember is that stakeholders exert influence over the project. But here are a few other notes about stakeholders. The project manager must try to identify all stakeholders, both positive and negative, and determine all requirements. And sometimes, requirements are not explicitly stated. The project manager must aim to find resolutions to differences between different stakeholders. And you should remember that the project management team is a part of the project team. It includes the project manager, a few other key team members who are directly involved in managing the project. So that wraps up this section on terminology for the project management framework section. I look forward to introducing you to several organizational structures in the next video. Thanks for watching.